Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Pitch Talk. We are fans of football dropping vlogs, blogs, videos and podcasts on the beautiful game. Check out our videos on YouTube and Instagram's IGTV, including special feature segments, vlogs such as 5 Minutes with the G, The Straight Shooting View, Coaching with JBK, Audio on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Podomatic, Spotify, Mixcloud and other podcast platforms. Join the Pitch Talk revolution on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and our official website www.pitch-talk.com The pitch is where we eat The pitch is where we sleep And the pitch is where we talk Welcome to The Straight Shooting View Hey what is up people, my name is Straight Shooting LJ and welcome to another episode of The Straight Shooting View Now you know what one thing I do want to discuss is Gianni Infantino, aka, as I'm going to call him for this, Greedy Infantino. The reason why, and I have mentioned this on a vlog before, and it's in regards to FIFA's greed in trying to get a biennial World Cup going. Now, I said, I'm not going to retread that, but I'm just going to talk a bit about greed in football because. At the end of the day, there is the case of how much money do you need, but greed in football is one of them where it's not even just limited to FIFA, it's not just limited to UEFA, it's not just limited to the Premier League, it's literally an endemic parasite. It really is a parasite that permeates most sectors of the game. You don't really get it at grassroots level to be perfectly honest but that's because there's not the money there to do it in my opinion but you know what yeah I want to focus on Gianni Infantino's recent comments about African migrants Gianni Infantino saying that a biennial world cup would stop African migrants quote finding death in the sea is some of the most ludicrous absurd idiotic moronic justification for a biennial world cup that you will ever hear to say that a biennial world cup will help african migrants avoid death in the sea is unbelievably insensitive to say unbelievably and this was an address to i think it was a, i think it was european parliament as well so for gianni infantino to say that it's like good god like really like you can't possibly be oh well you can be and it's like when i when i read that he said that i'm thinking you can't possibly be that desperate for a biennial World Cup. You can't be that desperate to have a World Cup every two years. But the desperation of the greed, as said, and remember, Gianni Infantino is the top man at FIFA, and he's using the death of African migrants trying to escape war-torn, poverty-stricken countries as justification for a biennial World Cup or a World Cup every two years. You utter scumbag. Come on. I mean, it's like, no, bro. Like, ser- no. D- no. I, 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 like, I'm almost at a loss for words right now. Because to use that, I said, that is unbelievably insensitive of something to say. But to even think it just shows how much, like, Gianni Infantino does not care about the perception of football or the people who play it or those who watch it, those who are fans of it. Because to come out with that comment, and he came out with it during AFCON, so your timing is even worse. And it's like... To come out with that during AFCON as well, it's like, dude, you are 
an utter disgrace. And I've always said that Gianni Infantino, in my opinion, was just set, it was just basically Michel Platini's yes man. But for him to come out and say that about the Biennial World Cup, it's like, you know what, leave it alone. But the sad thing is with me, I see it as it's not even like limited to just FIFA. There is so much of this that is just <sighs> embedded within the system of football. I mean, you look at the Premier League not wanting to stop, <clears throat> not wanting to stop matches because of rising Omicron COVID cases. It's like there's that. There's leagues, and especially UEFA as well. Look at how they reacted during the, what's it, during the European Super League thing. It took them 24 hours to respond to the European Super League, but it took almost three weeks to them, for them to respond to a racism allegation from Glenn Camera of Rangers. And it's like, you can really, really see where these powers that be and their priorities lie. And to be honest, without trying to get too political, it's just, it, football's a microcosm of society. It's just like government. Like you look at Boris Johnson and his cronies, they're all out for themselves. And they're trying to save their own skins. So it's one of them ones, and I'm, I mean, I've said Boris Johnson is like the set blatter of the UK. <laughs> it's like the set blatter of politics, and that's not a good thing. So it's one of them ones where with Johnny Infantino coming out with those sorts of comments, it just beggars belief how, number one, he can believe in these comments, but also, number two, how he can think that they're anywhere near right or ethical on a basic level and that's that's the thing that scares me about the powers that be in football the lack of scruples the fact that they will use anything to justify getting what they want and as I said that is that is probably the scariest part because those that suffer are the ones at grassroots level those that suffer are the ones actually playing the game and being put at risk by these same people sitting in their ivory towers. So it's like those completely insensitive comments and the timing of it. I said it's... And the worst thing is these are not even outliers. Remember Seth Blatter years ago saying about, oh, um... <clears throat> Oh, well, maybe if women play football in lingerie, it'd be more appealing or something to that effect. It's like, dude, no. It's like maybe more people would watch if women were playing in lingerie. It's like, dude, no, Bridget. Don't know. That's not the way you do, that's not the way you do things. And it's like, I've spoken to some people before who actually have defended Set Blau who have actually tried to defend it. And I've been like, no, he, he, he did one good thing, but 20 bad things. It's like, no, you can't justify this. You really can't. And you think to yourself, Gianni Infantino would lose his job over saying like certain idiotic comments like he has. But no, barely anybody bats an eyelid and it's done. Qatar getting the 2022 World Cup. Barely anyone bats an eyelid until it's way past too late. Players protesting back in, tw back in what, mid-2021. It's too late. And that's, the, and that's, I said, one of the sad things about it. But you know what, yeah? I want to know your views. Were Gianni Infantino's comments about a biennial World Cup resulting in African migrants not finding death in the sea? Do you think those were justified to say? Do you think he was right? Do you think he was wrong? Let me know. Comment section is below. www.pitchstatstalk.com is the official website. <clears throat> Check out there for everything Pitch Talk. Also, also, at Pitch Talk on Twitter. Tweet with us, follow us, see what we're up to. Facebook.com forward slash Pitch Talk. Become a fan, become a fan, become a member of the group. Join the footballing revolution we're working so hard to create 
at Pits Talk on Instagram and on Reddit as well. You can catch vlog previews and much more on our Instagram page. Also, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Verbal, V-U-R-B-L dot com at Get Verbal on Twitter. Tweet them and let them know we sent you because we are Verbal Ambassadors and proud of it. Also, also as well, you can catch our RSS feed on our website and listen to our podcast and watch the vlogs there with the embedded YouTube videos. So, you know what? I said, I want to know your views. <clears throat> so, on them ones where it's like greed, is it endemic in football? I happen to think it is. I happen to think it is. And Gianni Infantino's comments. Was he right? Was he wrong? And why? Let me know in the comments section. But for now, I have been straight shooting LJA and I will see you next time. Join the Pitch Talk Revolution. Check out the official Pitch Talk website. www.pitch-talk.com.